The Ghana Empire, otherwise known as the Empire of Gold, was an ancient civilization that thrived in West Africa between the 4th and 13th centuries AD. This powerful empire had a major role to play in West African history, establishing itself as an important trading and cultural hub, while its complex and sophisticated society had an enduring regional legacy. The Ghana Empire's roots are steeped in mystery and legend, with the bulk of historical knowledge stemming from oral and archaeological records and the writings of Arab travelers of the time. The Ghana Empire was in what is now southeastern Mauritania and western Mali. It established itself as a cluster of chiefdoms, which eventually became unified under a central leadership. The term Ghana traditionally means the title of the ruler, rather than the name of the empire itself. The empire's name and the area it covered were different from the current nation of Ghana. Oral tradition holds that the establishment of the empire was ascribed to a mythical figure called Dinga Sisa. According to some traditions, Dinga Sisa is portrayed as a semi-divine or heroic figure, with supernatural abilities that allowed him to assert his leadership and found the empire. During the first centuries AD, when trans-Saharan trading picked up momentum, the North African Berbers and later the Arabs built up contacts with the region. The accounts of these travelers provide some of the first written references to the Ghana Empire. These encounters partly influenced the growth and consolidation of the empire. The Ghana Empire's geographical location meant that it could control the trans-Saharan trade routes. The region abounded in gold, and controlling this precious resource, along with the opportunity to mediate between the northern salt-producing areas and the southern gold-producing regions, positioned the Empire of Ghana as a dominant trading force. As it grew in wealth and influence, the Ghana Empire started to annex neighboring territories and subdued various ethnic groups and tribes, cementing its position as the region's dominant empire. Society in the Ghana Empire was structured hierarchically, topped by the king, known as the Kayamagan. The nobility, wealthy merchants, artisans, farmers, and slaves were underneath him. The king enjoyed near-absolute power and was considered a semi-divine figure. He oversaw maintaining order, justice, and the well-being of the kingdom. Although the king's power was highly centralized, there was a well-established bureaucracy to help run the empire. The conquered territories were ruled by appointed governors, whereas the central territories were more closely administered. The main city and capital of the empire is believed to have been Kumbai Sala, an important trading and political center. In fact, it was divided into two parts, a royal area and a commercial district, with the latter predominantly held by Muslim merchants. Whilst traditional African beliefs prevailed in the Ghana Empire, Islam also had a strong foothold, especially among the elite and merchants. This targeted acceptance of Islam allowed the Empire of Ghana to develop favorable trade relations with North African Muslim states. This coexistence of African traditions and Islamic influences in Ghana made for a diverse and prosperous society, where trade and diplomacy were as important as tradition and religion. The social and political legacy of the Ghana Empire continues to be a crucial piece of West Africa's complex tapestry of history. The Ghana Empire was a dominating authority in West Africa for several centuries and was often embroiled in military campaigns, whether defensive or expansionist. Towards the end of the 11th century, the Almoravids, a Berber religious and military movement from the Sahara, started to expand southwards. It is widely acknowledged that some kind of clash or series of skirmishes took place between the Almoravids and the Ghanaian Empire, but the specific details are the subject of debate among historians. Some believe that the Almoravids did invade and occupy Ghana, while others argue that their impact was more mercantile and religious than military. The consensus, however, is that these confrontations with the Almoravids and the subsequent commercial developments contributed to the gradual decline of the Ghana Empire. As well as the Almoravids, other burgeoning groups and empires in the region, such as the Mali Empire, started to exert pressure on Ghana. Eventually, Mali in particular overshadowed Ghana in power and influence in West Africa. The decline and subsequent demise of the Ghana Empire 
did not stem from a single event, but rather from several internal and external factors that took place over the course of centuries. The Ghana Empire's economic system depended heavily on the trade in gold and salt. As time went by, new trade routes began to emerge, undermining the role of the Ghanaian Empire as a crucial go-between. Evidence has shown that climate change may have affected the region, with the Sahara Desert spreading, rendering some areas less hospitable and impacting on agriculture and trade. The gradual embrace of Islam by the elite and merchants influenced the empire's political and social dynamics. Whilst Islam offered a bridge to North Africa, it also brought new ideas and practices that may have upended established traditions and governance in Ghana. The Ghana Empire had been effectively supplanted by the rising Mali Empire by the end of the 13th century. Whilst the Ghana Empire no longer existed as a dominant political entity, its political and social legacy continues to be a crucial part of West Africa's fascinating and fertile history.